One of the concepts that we're going to talk about a lot in this book is the concept of rent. Now, on one hand, you might be like, yeah, sure, I know what rent is, right? Rent is what I pay every month to my landlord, right? Or maybe if you're a little more musical, rent is that musical that was on Broadway a little while ago, probably like 10 or 15 years ago now. That's all right. Rent in an economic sense is one of those words that we use slightly differently, right? There's going to be a lot of them. There's words like technology, capital, um, investment. We all use those, we use those words a little bit differently than common language and, and rent is similar to that. So when we talk about economic rent, what we mean is what you gain by doing something over what you could have done. So if you uh, take a job that pays $15 an hour and your next best option pays $10 an hour, then you're getting economic rent of $5. And so we're going to talk about employment rent, right? That's going to be one thing we talk about. We're also going to talk about innovation rent. So if a company comes up with an awesome new product that they can sell and earn a lot of profit, that's a kind of rent. They're getting an innovation rent. And sometimes innovation rents are protected by things like patents or copyrights, right? They're protected by law. Because if you came up with a cool new product and then a competitor just could come in and make the exact same product, then you wouldn't have any incentive to make that innovation. So some rents are really good in economics, right? Some rents are really what drive growth and allow us to produce more now than we could before. Some rents are not so good. So if you uh, drive all of your competitors out of business and you can increase your prices, then you're earning rent, but it's sort of an anti-competitive rent. It's because you've behaved in an anti-competitive manner. Manner. If you get all of your competitors together and agree to set prices at a certain level higher than your costs, again, that's an anti-competitive rent, and that's going to hurt the economy as a whole. So when we think about rent, Profit is certainly one way to think about it, but it's not exactly the same, right? Um, we often use the term economic profit or economic rent the same, but economic profit is not the same as, for instance, accounting profit, right? Because we need to take into account that opportunity cost, that option that we didn't take, but we could have taken, right? If you're majoring in economics, but you could have majored in political science, then the rent you get for majoring in economics is that little bit of extra benefit you get in majoring uh, in economics as opposed to political science. In traditional, perfectly competitive economic models, all of this economic rent disappears because of perfect competition. So let's think about it from the employment perspective, which we're going to come back to in Chapter 6. If I make a match with an employer, if I'm an employee and I find a good employer that says, yes, we'll hire you, we'll pay you $12 an hour. Well, in a perfectly competitive market, then that must be how much that I produce for that firm. Because if I produce more for that firm, there will be some other firm down the street that will say, hey, you're really producing $15 an hour of, of value. We'll pay you $15 an hour. And I'll go to that firm. Right? So the first firm would have to pay me $15 an hour. If I say, hey, no, firm, you need to pay me $20 an hour, then they say, nope, you're fired, you're out, and you take the next person in, and they'll accept $15 an hour because that's what they produce. That's a world of perfect competition and in some ways a world of fantasy. Right? It's not that some markets are not more competitive than others, but not all markets uh, are that competitive, and most markets, in fact, are not that competitive because of a number of reasons that, that we'll discuss throughout the, the class. Um, so I just wanted to talk about economic rent here. Hopefully it's a, a concept that you're beginning to understand. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll address those.